Hello everyone, Man of Thrall here, and welcome to the weekly update video for RS3. Now this week we see a bunch of different content, as well as an announcement for an upcoming piece of content. And today we see the Premier Club is back, finally. Uh, it is only going to cost 70 USD, uh, 40, like 50 pounds. You know, it, it's very cheap this year, especially in comparison to other years. Uh, it still does take, I think I heard, it takes about 20 bonds, if you have bonds. Uh, personally, this year, um, well, as with any year, right now is going to be the worst time to actually buy bonds. Uh, because of the Premier Club coming out, a lot of people want to use them now. So that's why I would always recommend you gather your bonds throughout the year, but don't try to buy them right now during the premier clubs so what do you get with this well you get 12 months of membership for the full year if you get the full year package uh and any other time like let's say i have four months into next year already bought and paid for well that means this just gets tacked on to what i already have paid so it's no big deal. You st you don't lose any time. It just keeps uh, piling up, if you will. Uh, but what you get as far as instant rewards, you get the exclusive cosmetic outfit, so the Dawn Forged Armor set, which you can see right here. You get the cosmetic weapon. You can see the guy holding it right here, uh, which is a Dawn Forge uh, Great Sword. You get an exclusive pet, which is Soul the Unicorn, 150,000 loyalty points, which you get quite a bit throughout the year too, so don't forget that. And you get three times Premier Club reward tokens. So this means any rewards in the previous years, you can actually go through ahead and claim them. Or if you end up skipping a year, you know, you can always hold on to some of these tokens and then claim them that way too. Uh, there is benefits there's also a benefits tab which will be arriving in the marketplace so you can check that out uh, but you do have monthly access to the premier vault which is once a month you go in with a free inventory and you just loot a bunch of chests you have one free boss instance per week 100 bank spaces additional now if you were to not renew uh, the membership the following year you would lose that additional bank space. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, but you have the access to the Premier Artifact buff, which is very nice, especially for aura re uh, resets. Uh, I think that's all it's really for, but it's very nice. Uh, one extra key daily, so you know, three keys a day. A 50% rune metrics discount, which can be rather useful. You got VIP worlds, so only other VIPs who pay for this get it. Uh, you get access to the premier track of all Yak Track events, which is kind of nice too. Honestly, I would recommend that. Uh, 12 month drops. And this uh, contains an assortment of desirable items, including, uh, n well, not limited to essentially, oddments, umbral chests, knowledge bombs, Yak Track, task skips, protein packs. Variety packs, mystery boxes, and this is new. You get one month of double daily keys. So this is active from the moment of purchase and stacks with other key rewards. So that's quite a quite a bit. Plus, this is going to be this year, potentially this year only, because this is a, a 25th or 20th year anniversary. Yeah, 20th anniversary. You get. A golden party hat shard now I'm gonna be going over that here pretty soon but that is something that is coming up and we'll, we'll go over that right now there is gonna be a golden party hat to celebrate the 20 years of RuneScape uh, and this will be starting I believe it is November 22nd and it will come to an end January 3rd so, you need to collect 8 out of 11 shards in order to make the party hat. The party hat will be tradable, and it is a golden party hat. So, here is the ways that you can actually collect the shards and get everything done. Uh, keep in mind, this does not start until November 22nd. 
However, like I said, you do need eight. Uh, the other three you can't really do anything with, so you don't need to really worry about that. So, as long as you can get eight of the following. So, number one is a talk to the wise old man who is waiting for you outside the Grand Exchange and Varrock. So, that's an easy one. Complete the Once Upon a Time in Gilinor anniversary quest. So, that would mean all parts. And you can get another one. Uh, every time you earn a mark of war, you have a chance for a shard. And then you also have a chance of getting a shard from Clue Scrolls. There is a chance for a shard from the combat uh, skills such as attack, strength, defense, range, prayer, magic, constitution, and summoning. Another one can, can be gathered from gathering skills such as mining, fishing, woodcutting, farming, hunting, divination, and archaeology. Another one is artisan skills, so this is your crafting skills such as herb lore crafting, fletching, smithing, cooking, fire making, root crafting, and construction. And you get your support skills, this is for another one, which is your agility, thieving, slayer, and dungeoneering. And another shard can be obtained at level 15 of the free track in a Christmas yak track event. So we are soon going to be getting another yak track. Uh, another shard can be purchased with 30 million in-game gold in case you just feel generous. There might be more to that one. And one shard is given with the Premier Club 2022 Premier uh, Membership. So that is some stuff to keep in mind. And it is a golden party hat. Who does not want that? Top it off, it is tradable. So this is going to be... It's going to be in high demand eventually. It's just hard to say how soon. So that's a couple things knocked out this week. But also we have a new weekly rewards and daily challenge upgrades. So this week uh, it's starting where they're, well, the daily challenges. So instead of, you know, we would get one daily challenge a day and then you could do that daily challenge and blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's say it was undesirable. So here, instead of it just being a daily challenge, you get three daily challenges. And they change every day. So when you log in, you get your three daily challenges. And you can get, you can complete all three or just one, your choice. But you can have up to three. So this is going to make Vizwak probably boom. They even mentioned that in here too. But it's going to be kind of nice. So now you don't have to pick and choose as much or get annoyed. Uh, you'll just have more options, which is going to be kind of nice. So, with that, there is going to be weekly challenges. So instead of having a long list of just daily challenges that you build up, you will now also get some weekly challenges, which have a weekly reward track. So one for free to play and one for members. Every three dailies you complete unlocks a re weekly reward with up to a maximum of seven unlocks per week. So if you complete all of your daily tasks every day, you can get a lot of rewards. Rewards include anything from Silver Hawk Down, Dungeoneering Tokens, up to a Cash Bag, Death Touch Dart, or a Gift for the Reaper. Uh, so note for Iron Man players, restricted rewards are substituted with oddments. So... Anything probably with bonus XP and stuff like that will be oddments instead. And if you're feeling a little bit lazy, uh, they, everybody does time to time. The weekly track contains a challenge skip tokens, uh, meaning you can swerve the objective and claim lovely rewards, so go ahead and treat yourself. And RuneScape member, member, uh, blah, 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 blah. RuneScape members <laughs> receive the rewards from both members and free-to-play tracks while non-members get the free-to-play goodies. So that is quite the change. Uh, I rather like that myself. Golden Party Hat, don't forget to get that ready. RuneScape the First 20 Years book is out, so do check that out. We have a live stream coming up tomorrow at 1600 game time. This is a art R&D stream, so this should be some rather interesting stuff that pops up. And the community has been full of, well, double XP gains. So you got your double XP gains and people unlocking their 
uh, different types of capes, whether it be their level 99 capes or 120 capes. First up is Ash X with their new 120 Slayer. Dan 3 hit you with the 99 uh, Archaeology. FMC Tiger with the 120 Slayer. Uh, Nick suggests with the 120 Dungeoneering. Citra Ahara. However, you say that. Uh, sorry. I butchered that probably, but they have a 120 smithing cape, you have skills to the max with the 120 herb lore, and you mirror with the 99 cooking, well not cooking, farming, Ooh, quite a bit different there. And we have the pink skirts event, as usual, we have a minigame Sunday though, uh, for Barbarian Assault and hosted by Dr. Brian. It is going to take place on Sunday, November 21st at 1800 to 1900 game time. World 6th location is the Barbarian Assault Lobby. And of course we got patch notes. So the daily challenge objective updates. So, agility. Complete two full laps of any agility course was five. Archaeology restore or excavate an artifact. Combat, kill 15 enemies was five. Construction, construct five normal or flat packed furniture. Uh, cooking, prepare 10 dishes of food was 25. Crafting, create five pieces of jewelry. Uh, crafting two is fire any 10 urns in the pottery oven. Crafting three is craft five pieces of equipment. Divination, convert 10 of any type of divination memories was 25. Dungeoneering, complete a Demonheim floor, shifting tomb or elite dungeon, previously required max complexity. Uh, farming, check each or check the health of a farming patch or gather all produce from an allotment, herb patch, hop patch, or farm animal. No longer requires the animal to be an elder. Uh, fire making, light any 10 logs or add them to the bonfire was 25. Fishing, catch 14 fish of any type, and uh, was 25. Fletching, fletch any type of arrow or arrow shaft was six, well, 60, was 150, no shafts. Uh, fletching, fletch or string any type of bow, 12, was 25. Herb lore, brew any two types of potions was 10. New herb lore 2, clean six of any grimy herb. Hunter, skin one bat, uh, big game hunter creature or catch three creatures was 25. Mining, mine five of any ore. Prayer, offer 10 bones or ashes to the gods was 25. Room crafting, craft 20 essence into any type of room was 25. And room crafting two, siphon eight of any type of rune from rune span was 25. Slayer, kill 10 was 25. Smithing, Create or upgrade a piece of equipment using core smithing materials was two pieces. Summoning, infuse three summoning pouches was five. Thieving, pickpocketing uh, any type or loot artifacts in the pyramid plunder six times. So that's pretty good. Uh, Woodcutting, chop 10 was 25. Revised basic version of the daily objective for new players. Uh, they removed daily uh, challenge achievement path since the daily challenges are now onboarded with the challenges interface via several sets basic challenges. And they replaced the some copper and tin rocks in the depths of the Birthorp mine with common gem rocks, silver rocks, and iron rocks for use in basic challenges and telegraph low level smithing and crafting progression goals in the starting zone. Uh, there was two hot fixes. They fix a issue that prevented users from hopping worlds, and there's some minor UI issues for the marketplace. But that is it for today, guys. Quite a list of stuff today, including what has come with the Golden Party hat. So thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later, guys.